stand in your way now Try till you miss it Then just go on back around Man, I'm feeling fucking different I see you looking like I'm different So go and treat me like I'm different Cause I'ma live it like I'm different, yeah But the world will never change when you wanna change And the people never say what you wanna say So go and live your life like you don't give a fuck Cause I've been running through this life and still can't get enough Alright everybody So as you guys saw in the earlier content, we went to this musky spot. It was god awful. It was all just the water's too high right now, so we're trying out this Bushkill Creek here. It's kind of calmer water, so I don't think it's gonna be as dirty. And we're going for trout right now. And you know what? We're kind of like we woke up so early, so it's like we just want to keep fishing here. We just don't want to waste this day. So this is Plan B. We're at the Bushkill going for some trout here. And the game plan is to put them in this cooler, and we're actually gonna stock. What do you call one of the one of the, just like the total private nobody fishes at, and we're gonna stock it with trout, and then maybe in a maybe in a month or so we could fish it just all to ourselves. So that is the game plan. This is gonna be a little stock. What would you call a stock trout day here? I guess. So we're gonna stock our own trout by catching them out of the bush kill. Let's get it. This is gonna be tough. I think minnows would work best. What? I think minnows work best. They probably do though. I think so. Who knows? Got one. Oh yeah. Stay on though, buddy. Oh, that's a decent one. <laughs> Pretty rain. Wish I had a net. <laughs> Ah, uh, two pound test. I'm not doing that. No, I'll put them on like the rock here. All right, now we gotta fill up the cooler. All right, first rainbow trout on the pink trout magnet. Do you have a stringer? Gavin, can you get the <laughs> Gavin, get, get the lid, get the lid, please. <laughs> I know. Don't pick it up like that. Throw him in. So clutch. Gavin, show him. On the honey worm. Gotta love it. There he is, unhook him and throw him in. Here, he's it, he's it. Here, he's it. Let's go! Alright, we're good. Alright, so we were at the bush gill, like I said earlier. Now we caught, we only caught two. The water, like the water clarity was still just very cloudy and murky, so. We only ended up catching two, but you know what? Two's better than none. And we actually, Gavin caught one, I caught one. I caught the, actually, the nice guy here. Let me hold him up. Both two rainbows. Here goes Here's Gavin, this we're releasing him. There he goes, just keep filming him. There he is. Oh yeah. Let's go. That's cool. That is cool. Here's the rainbow that Gavin caught. What did he catch it on? Uh, honey honey worm. worm. So we got honey worm. I caught mine on a pink trout magnet. 
There he goes. Alright, so we already have two rainbows in here. I made a little intro in the car earlier. It was, like I said, I only had like 25 minutes to actually fish. I was probably only actually fishing for five minutes. I was just doing a lot of scouting in that within that 30 minutes. So tomorrow we're going to be hitting it up religiously, crack of dawn, at least I will be. And hopefully we can get 10 plus trout in here tomorrow. And the ultimate goal is to put a Palomino in here by tomorrow too. So if we catch a Palomino tomorrow, that is without without a doubt the a success. And just if we could hook up and get 10 plus trout in here, that'll be a success. I know we'll be hooking up tomorrow because they just stocked it. They just stocked it this afternoon, so it's kind of like on the lowdown with all this coronavirus. And, you know, it's all just very secret. Long story short, so here is the brown trout that I pulled out. Funny st story about this guy. I don't know if you can see the colors on the cam. Can you? Yep. I don't know. Oh, God. I don't want to have a repeat of the first rainbow. There's actually a Palomino in the hole that I was fishing for. Him, and I caught this guy instead of the Palomino. But So we got two, two, we got two rainbows and one brown. Here he goes. Is it good camera yep. lighting? It's good. There he goes. Let's get used to the water, but so the stat line is we got two rainbows and we got one brown and what's the date? April 16th? Yeah. So in just two days, I mean we literally started this yesterday. Within two days we got three trout in there, so we're going good. I don't see nothing. Fished out. Oh yeah. Already hooked. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> First cast rainbow. Is it a rainbow? Outdoor tech woke up at 6.15. Come out at two o'clock and first cast already on. That's what we like to see. Fuck. It's recording. All right, so today isn't as planned. We only got one. I caught a brown. This was the evening. Evening stretch of fishing. What is it, April 16th or 17th? 17th. April 17th, so this is the third day. And this is going to be the fourth fish going in. And so the first two fish were two rainbows. Then we stocked the third one, which was a brown. And this one's a brown, but this one's a little bit bigger than the first brown. Here he is. Showed the nice color on him. See him? Right here. That one kicked off a lot. The weather is just overcast. It was completely rainy. And these are just some of the trout that we got that we're stocking. So we originally we originally had two rainbows and two browns, right? We put a brown in just recently. We doubled it with another additional four. So now we are going to be having eight total trout. And what's kind of funny is that we have two rainbows and two browns. So it's still an even number. And the math comes out to four browns and four rainbows total. So here is the biggest one. This is Gavin's catch. Look at that. That is the biggest one. Little 15 inch rainbow, I'd say. Oh, that was dumb. Here, you got him? Yep. There he goes. <laughs> right to the hole. <laughs> uh -oh. Let's not scare him oh, out of yeah. there. Keep him in there. All right, let's get, get the other guy. Shot. 
Nice. Here is, let's go get the other rainbow. So here is the other rainbow. I'd say a, uh, probably a 13 to 14. Guys, wait. Hey, what do you call fight so hard? Here is the other rainbow. Put this guy here. And now, look how just beautiful they are. Let's get the wake. That is so cool. <laughs> I love it, man. You gotta love it. So satisfying. And now, we got our two browns. So, this one's actually a real beautiful guy. There is the brown. You will be really see him here. There he goes. He's just swimming down there. Uh-oh. Let's see if we can see him out. It's kind of murky down there. Kind of cloudy. There. It's kind of like a deeper pool, so it's actually the kind of staying there longer. And here is our last brown. This is the fourth fish. And we are going back to our creek to catch some more. Here's the last one. All right, guys. So this is insane. Our buddy Josh, he caught this pally. And he was nice enough to allow us to stock it. Here it is. I mean, look at the colors. That is a beautiful fish. Now we are going to be stocking him. All right. Here he is. Beautiful. That is a beautiful fish, man. Right in that hole that we dug out there. Walk along there. Dang, he's gonna go into gravel. He's doing the salmon river run. Yeah, he's going back down to the deep hole. Anyways, so. So in total, we originally had, like I said earlier, we had eight total trout, four browns, four rainbows. Now we got four browns, and we got an additional two rainbows that we got. Like I said, it started drizzling. Everybody left. Here's another rainbow. So this is our fifth rainbow added. Here he goes. And last but not least, we got our last rainbow. Here he is. So, like I said, this is the deep hole though that we were originally digging. It seems to me like the bigger fish are liking that. And film up on me real quick. So the total stat line at the end, so far we got 11 total trout, 4 browns, 6 rainbows, and 1 palomino. So, we're going to get back on the water, see if we can hook up on some more trout, and hopefully this little 30 to 40 yard stretch of creek becomes a little gold mine. Let's get it, keep fishing.
All right, so now we are going with we're going with a light pink strout magnet. It's a 164th 164th ounce head light pink silver head shroud magnet and we got a split shot i don't know if you can see it we got a split shot about 16 inches up from the hook probably should bring it down a bit but it doesn't matter oh hooked him Nice size rainbow. Come on. There he goes. Maybe they'll like the white better. I think all the pallies are still there. Three, yeah. Uh, what do you say? Oh, I don't like. I know what you mean. <laughs> I know what you mean. That pale one would actually be kind of cool to catch. I caught pale ones like that, kid. Yeah. I mean, isn't that, like what you would actually call like an actual palomino, though? Uh, like, I think all, yeah. all, all the other ones are like golden rainbows. Yeah, a real palomino like doesn't really have a dark red line. You stopped stalking those like three years or four years ago. Now why is that? I'm not sure to be honest. I think Palominos are rarer than Golden Rainbows to be honest. Come on. <laughs> but then there's like a Golden Trout. And that's like really rare. Really? They're actually gold. They're like hidden up in like California. Really? Like that's cool. And then after that, they wanted nothing to do with it. That's all I got out of any of them today. It's like they've all been hooked already. I think, what do you call it? I think someone DM me and said that he caught all the pallies out of Sacred Heart and released them. So I don't know. Well, I saw two of them on the story, but I didn't think they would come here. But then the place that he said he caught them, he didn't even wait for it. Yeah. But, um, I don't know. He's yep. Yeah, that's a nice brook. Not big, but it's pretty. Yeah. Beautiful. That's sick. Alright everybody, so today I caught four trout down at the Hockey Creek, what do you call it, just by looking at them. One's a brook, and the other two are rainbows, 
And then the last one is a rainbow, but this guy actually, unfortunately, is kind of like dying. So we're gonna try to revive him first. Maybe it'll. I'll be pumped if we can. can. Love it if he just. Can. Let's put this brook in. Get the colors on him too. Oh. Come on. See, these guys are champs. Here is the brook. This is actually the first brook we are putting in the I mean, our So first brook in the creek. There he goes. Hope he likes his new home there. I'm gonna put our two fully alive rainbows in. So here is the here is the first rainbow. Come on. Don't go in there. I don't know why they're like they just like hitting the wall. There he goes. Alright, and here is our last. This is actually, I think, That's the biggest decent rainbow. decent size, yeah. This one's probably 14, honestly. It's a little chunky. Look at that. Oh my god, don't start doing... <laughs> there he it. goes. He's fine, that was... He's actually more energetic than all the other ones, you know what I mean? I was doing good. Oh. Three rainbows? Three rainbows and a brook. So we got nine rainbows, one brook, four browns, and one pally. And if you add that all up, <laughs> we get nine, yeah, 15.